Hi students, welcome to my channel. In this channel, we provide the in-depth knowledge of different programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python, which differentiate you with others. In our series of simple pointers, we have already uploaded 10 lectures. I think you are enjoying this series and I also got a number of phone calls and mails that sir, we are enjoying this series very much please don't stop it and please upload the lectures regularly so in that series today I am uploading another lecture so let's discuss please concentrate this is a very important question here we had created a user defined function which is working exactly equivalent to strcpy what is strcpy it's a predefined function which is used to contents of which is used to copy the contents of one string to another but we are not using strcpy we are creating one more user defined function that is xstrcpy using pointers so please try to understand here we are writing void x str cpy char asterisk comma char asterisk what does it means it is a prototype of the function what is prototype prototype is a declaration which defines the return type and the argument of the function so when i am writing void x str cpy char asterisk comma char asterisk what does it means k x str cpy is a user defined function which will return nothing but it will receive two pointers of type what character why because string is nothing but a character array and the name of the array gives the base address of the zeroth element of the array and in character array zeroth element is a character so we are trying to pass the base address of the zeroth element of both the character array so in main function what we have declared char str1 is equal to mumbai char str2 10 now what is str1 and str2 these are the two character array str1 equal to mumbai is initialized and str2 is an empty then we are making a function call x str cpy str2 comma str1 str2 is a target whereas str1 is a source means we will try to copy all the contents of a source string into target string that is str2 in str1 we are having mumbai in str2 we are having nothing till we are making a function call as we have already learned whenever we make a function call a linker links the function call with the function definition and the control will move down to the definition of the function and after executing all the statements the control comes back to the same statement from where the function call is made now when i write void x str cpy char asterisk t comma char asterisk s what is t and s t and s are the pointers of type character which will hold the address of zeroth element of str1 and str2 str2 and str1 is the name of the array name of the array gives the base address so what we are doing we are passing the addresses and addresses are always stored in pointers that is why void x str by char asterisk t comma char asterisk s then with the help of while loop we are traversing the complete string value at s is not equal to backslash 0 or 0 you can write backslash 0 also ask your backslash 0 is 0 that is why we are writing 0 means jab tak execute karna jab tak value at s is not equal to 0 why because mumbai is a string and as you know ki if it if any character array is a string it must be terminated with backslash 0 why because if any character array is terminated with backslash 0 it becomes a string otherwise it is a character array now here str1 is a string as well as character array whereas str2 is only a character array why because we are not having any backslash 0 in str2 str2 is empty whereas str1 is a character array as well as string and as we have already discussed ki every string is a character array whereas every character array is not a string why because if any character array is terminated with backslash 0 it becomes a string so str1 is a string whereas str2 is a character array str1 is also a character array as well as string and str2 is what str2 is a character array we are passing the address while value at s means jab tak mumbai ke last tak aap traverse nahi karte why value at s is not equal to 0 now what we are trying to do in the while loop we are trying to copy character by character from source to target what we are writing value at t is equal to value at s value at s is what value at s is m 
and t is pointing to the zeroth element of str2 so in zeroth element m will be copied then t plus plus s11 s plus plus so when i do t plus plus how many bytes it will increment it will increment one bytes why because we have already discussed ki whenever a pointer is incremented it always points to the next location of it is type and t is what t is a pointer of type character so it will increment how many bytes it will increment one byte so it will start pointing to the next byte in the str2 and when i write s plus plus again it will again it will increment one byte and it will start pointing to u because first it is pointing to m then it will start pointing to u as the loop completed all the contents of str1 will be copied in str2 as it encounters value at s is not equal to backslash 0 the loop terminates and at the end value at t is equal to backslash 0 now str2 becomes what it becomes a string now all the contents of this str1 is copied in str2 this is how str cpu is working no doubt str cpu is returning one value also what it is returning it is returning zero if all the contents of str1 is copied to str2 but we are not returning anything because we are changing little bit in x x str cpu now as the control move down back to the calling function then we are try to print the string str2 with the help of printf printf percentage as backslash and str2 what you will get you will get the output mumbai so now str1 is having mumbai str2 is also having mumbai so this is how with the help of pointers you can copy one content the we can copy the contents of one string to another go through this program if you are having any doubt you can ask me this is prototype this is function call and this is function definition i think we should stop here if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment box i will try to reply within 24 hours and if you like the content of this channel please like share and subscribe as much you can it motivates us thank you very much have a nice day